Now we're ready. Now we're ready. Yeah. All right. Should we go? Yeah. All right. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Have we forgotten anything? I think we're okay. hundred years later. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Today is the 24th of February, 2024, and this is episode number 35 of Running with Scissors, Stitching with Jane and Julie. I'm Skinhead Jane. <laughs> and I'm a... G.I. Jane. G.I. Jane. Perfect. And I seem to be an enormously big Julie for some reason. It's like, I don't know, my stool won't go down any further. So I feel, you're G.I. Jane and I'm Giant Julie. <laughs> <laughs> and we are very glad to be here. Yes, we are. Very glad. <clears throat> okay, I think I just snorted. <laughs> God only knows what's going to happen. Buckle up, everybody. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be... A, it's going to be. It's going to be. Something. <laughs> so we are glad to be back. We were away for a long time. Apologies. Um, my voice still isn't 100%. Not up to um, singing. But it's much better than it was. Um, I might look a little different than the last time we saw each other. Um, I am experiencing what they call post-sepsis syndrome. And um, my hair started to fall out in handfuls over the last, like, six to eight weeks or so. So this week, my friend Kim um, came over and whipped out her Floby and did the needful. So this is me now. We are a fact-based program. Yeah. Um, this happened in 2018, and it grew back darker and curly for a while. I don't know if it'll grow back this time. It's hair. I can't be like that upset about it. Um, as long as I sound like Demi Moore, I might as well look like Demi Moore in G.I. Jane. But stay tuned. We'll go on the hair journey together. We'll see what happens. And if not, I have some floss tube hair that you've seen me wear for the last year and a half. I'll just slap my floss tube hair back on and it'll be all good. So anyway, that's why I look different. This is me, y'all. You don't look different to me. Oh, you're my you. Jane. <laughs> you are my Jane. Um, so. Yeah. And thanks, to everybody, for all of your kind comments. We um, really did appreciate them. They were very encouraging. Um, so we appreciate that. And since we last saw you, we've reached 7,000 subscribers. Yes. Amazing. Wow. So thanks to everybody that subscribed. Mm -hmm. Um. Julie and I have been talking and we think we want to do something special to celebrate the 7,000 subscribers, but we don't know what it is yet. So um, stay tuned and we'll let you know what that is. Yeah. Two things we, to stay tuned for, hair or not hair. Yeah. What we're going to do to celebrate 7K. We could celebrate by like having pie, but that wouldn't be very much fun for our viewers. So maybe so, we'll do like... Well, maybe we could uh, celebrate with pie and talk about what we're going to do with the viewers. We could do that. As we're eating the pie. Yeah. Like we'll that do that plan. next episode. Right. Give us time to think and uh, collab. Yes, I like yeah. a good collab. I do too. I need a new stool, one that doesn't make me look so giant. Well, I'll try to grow a few inches and be less <laughs> schlumpy, I'll try as my to, grandmother would I'll say. I'll try to slouch. Okay, so it's been so long, I don't even know what we start with. Oh, I know. Jane, <laughs> did you happen to stitch anything? Julie, thank you for asking. I almost forgot. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I did stitch a few things. Well, cool. Um, Sh do share, do share. Yeah, I'll show my book of days because I, gu I guess I've seen other floss tubers, that's what they do. I'm not a sticker person this year, apparently, but look at all the blank space. Wah, wah. Well, no stitching there. Here's February. More stitching, as I started to feel better. But, yeah, I, maybe someday I'll have to play with um, stickers. Um, let's see what's first. Ooh, I love that sound. Yeah, me too. Um, this is Wisdom by Teresa Kogut. And I am stitching this on 36 count Avogadro by Fiber on a Whim. And I'm using all the called for DMCs. And I think there's maybe 
one, maybe two fancy flosses in there. I was going to say, aren't you going to show us? Then she's got the scroll. Yeah, I, I scrolled it. I thought you were just going to tell us and about here, it. <laughs> and here's my progress. Oh, wow. You did like words and stuff. I did words. I completed a sentence and everything. That's more than I can That's say That's more for me. than I do in real life, for sure. Um, yeah, really I really like it. I think I talked progress. before about how when Can I, I see? Yeah, when I first started it, I thought, well, this is awfully tan. Like, I'm yes. not really sure if I like it, but I love the color palette. I do, too. Um, there are a couple of folks that have taken um, this red uh -huh. um, and one other color, maybe this lighter salmon, and they did a blue conversion. Oh, well, I, told I know you. Chris the Camping Stitcher is stitching it with the blue conversion. Hi, Chris. So Hi. Um, if you want to see what it looks like in the blue conversion, go watch her um, floss tube. Well, you should be watching her anyway. Uh, and the, the blue is beautiful. Like if I hadn't already started it, I might be tempted to do the blue. But I love the color palette. You mean the... So. the Flowers are still red, but all the no, the flowers the are flowers blue. The flowers are blue. Okay. Yep. Wherever you see the red. kind of the terracotta and the lighter terracotta, those are two shades of blue. I'm giggling because there's one of your hairs. <laughs> she would send me <laughs> an update on her ever failing hair. <laughs> I um I have this neck pillow that I use when I sleep. And um when I would get up in the morning, it also doubles as my laptop desk. It's a long story. <laughs> But every morning when I would look at it, it looked like a bear had been in there shedding. So I took, I would take tape and I would like get all the hair off. And then I would take a picture of the tape and I would send it to Julie and say, this is last night's crop. And Julie would send back something like, oh dear. Yeah. Oh, wow. Ooh, that's oh, a lot my. of hair. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I like this. And you know, it's really a shame because I haven't worked on mine. I... I ran across it yesterday when I was in my tote of stuff I need to do. Yeah. Oh, I've just got, I've got to pull it out. Now, Notice I got the little. <clears throat> I did notice your rubber grippies. Want it to be like that. Okay. Then Fun. Um, I did a little. Wow. Some string. Some blackbird. So I am doing Mighty Acorns out of. The um the Winds of Autumn Blackbird book. And this is the piece. And oh. I am using the provided DMC conversion. Um, unless the fancy floss would make much of a difference. So I think I have maybe one fancy floss. Oh, for the larger areas. Yeah, and the rest is um, <clears throat> DMC. And Can I... Can get that? Sure, and I am doing this. On... I have this book, right? Yes, I, I think do. so. Oh, like you're doing it for you're doing the um weeks dye works probably for the house because that's real. I think so, yeah. or the roof of the house. I can't yeah. remember. Probably both. I'm doing this on thirty two count haystack. One or two by color and cotton, and for this particular piece, I'm using two fabric threads oh. over um. Two. two floss over two fabric threads. And here's my progress. I really am out of practice. This is kind of, um, this is a little it bit We're almost back to virgin stage. Not really. <laughs> oh, love the colors. Sorry for the. For the string. Sorry for the st string. Ooh. Yeah. I'm glad you did two strands because I think I wanted that... it to look almost appliqued. Yeah, tapestry like. It. Yeah. 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 Um, so that's that one. I think that you probably won't see this one for a while. I think I'm going to um put it away for spring and summer and pick it back up again maybe in August. Oh. Okay. Um and finish it. Because I kind of want to move on to some Springy things, or Julie and I were talking in the Stitcher's Lounge before um, we came in here, that I'm kind of in the mood to start some patriotic things. Yeah. So I might even do that. <clears throat> and you know we jumped on that 12 and 12 yes. with both feet. Yep. And it's hard to kind of stick to because yes. you see the other things that you've got 
kind of um, chirping at you this spring. Yeah. You know? True. You know, just for yeah. different. Even though mine were, yours are all monthly, so mm -hmm. there's changing monthly. But I, um, mine are all over the board. So there's a lot of variety, but I don't know. I, I, I kind of in itching. We were talking to start something yeah. new. Yeah. So because that's what we do as <clears throat> stitchers. We do it. We stitch what we yeah, love. Of course. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> um, the other blackboard I'm doing is out of when the leaves fall, and I am working on Moonlit Garden. It's been so long, I don't recall. And I am doing this on 32 count rain washed by Color and Cotton. Um, using the DM, provided DMC conversion, except for um, Weeks Dye Works Amber, which is the moon behind the house. Oh, that I'll would I'll use be... the variegated for that. Yeah. And for this one, I am using one strand. <clears throat> of string over the two <laughs> fabric threads. And I'm very happy with the coverage um, so far. Is this a, I wasn't paying attention, is this the same fabric maker as your other one? Yeah, it oh. is. They're both color and cotton. So it just depends on the look that you choose. The look, and I think this is a little tighter yeah. after the dyeing process than the other one was. But here's my progress. Oh, very nice. I like that you've got the words done. Yeah, I started this a couple of days after I got home from the hospital, and I thought the um, verse was appropriate. Yes. So. Um, oh, very good. Yeah, progress so I'm going to put this one away. As well? As well. Um, I had it on scroll bars, and I used the um, American Dream Easy Stitch Scroll Rods, mm -hmm. where you attach your fabric to the scroll rod with uh, Velcro loop, loop tape. Yep. And it's my first time taking them off a scroll frame and leaving the loop tape on it. Okay. So we'll see what happens there. I've never had any trouble with the fabric underneath the tape, but usually what I do, um, and this is, I think, 3 a so it's not even a half an mm -hmm. inch, I, I just cut under. So I'm not peeling the tape off oh. and having residue. I will cut that off. And then peel the tape off. <clears throat> Is it reusable? I don't think so. Hmm. I've never tried it, to be honest. See, it I, might be. I put the fuzzy on the um, rod, and yeah. then I cheat, and I just use um, acid-free tape to adhere it. Oh, just because I, I never thought why. of that. I didn't want my... That's I, I don't idea. know why. That's just what I've always done. So, hmm. I always think no out rules. Of the box. No rules. I might need that in the future. Yeah. Okay, and then I think I have one more because I actually have a couple of finishes. <gasps> what? What? <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Mm -hmm. Don't get the Rona, everyone. <laughs> I'm just saying. No. And that's the thing about being homebound. People have to bring viruses to you. You don't go out and pick your own yeah. virus. Yeah, My we go went... very few places, and we got it at Christmas. And I'm like, well, we were only out twice. Tom brought it home, so we kind of brought it back to where he was. But I'm like, seriously, we don't go anywhere. Mick went to a retirement party for somebody he didn't even know. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Instead of bringing a piece of cake home, he brings home the Rona. So <coughs> no, thank now you. you're talking too much. So if you feel the need to reduce your speech, you can always communicate in interpretive dance. Okay, put your drink down. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Have you seen the state of Minnesota, the interpreter that does the sign language? Yes, she's amazing. Mick told me I look like her. Really? With my shaved head. Well, she does sport a very casual do. Yeah, and she's amazing. She is amazing. Yeah. I mean, I can hear her and it's like, I love watching her. Yeah, so he likes to now mock me. 
stand in front of me like he's the interpreter and make all of her facial expressions and then point to me and yeah. he thinks he's yeah you know when I couldn't for three weeks I didn't I literally didn't have a voice not even a whisper he was living his best life y'all he was like this is the greatest oh I'd make him pay now <laughs> and now I can kind of talk it comes and goes at the end of the day He's you know, he's just beside himself. Yeah, well, so now he's mocking me. You know what like, payback whatever. is. All right. Yeah. <laughs> this is a Scarlet House floral motif sampler. I would really like to finish this one over the next several weeks. Um, You've been plugging away at it. I have been plugging away. And oh, wow. Here, I might even take a second to pin this. Okay. To clamp well, I this. I have clamp. Clamp. And then I won't get it on your straight. You all oh, you get gotta the... turn that around. Can't have a purple and a clear. I'm sorry, we're new at this, but it's kind of like a there. Now, okay, right. hopefully, <laughs> you can't have a purple clip and a clear clip. I think I probably would have fallen off the chair. <laughs> I suppose you would like both shoes to match too. <laughs> well, <clears throat> come on, <laughs> what happened to? 2024, Julie. Well, 2023, Julie was supposed to be like wild and free yeah, and whatever. Yeah, 2024, Julie is um, really, I don't know, a little bit of both. A little, a little bit of rock and roll and a little bit of country. And a little bit just crazy. <laughs> anyway, here's my progress. And I worked primarily <clears throat> here and um, in here. And very, I'm doing this on very, 40 count prairie grass oh by Seraphim um, with all of the called for oh. uh, fancy flosses. One strand of floss over two fabric threads. It is stunning. And may I see that? That Seraphim prairie grass. Oh. I don't know what magic happened. And it, uh, um, it's unbelievable to stitch up. You know, you sent me the picture. She sent me the picture of this one. Mm -hmm. And to me, it looked like it was like this big because it was a close-up picture. Yeah. And the the amount of stitches, like you had said, that are in, you think, it's oh, I'll deceptive. just do a little motif. I'll just yeah. do it. Oh, my gosh. It yeah. really is involved. But that is just really, really cool. And these smaller ones, like this one was 30 stitches. It still took half an hour because it's a 40 count. Um. You know, when I first started stitching on 40 count, the first couple of nights were rough. And then after that, it was like, oh, it's really not too bad because my eyes adjusted. But now I have some pieces that are on 32, some that are on 36, and some that are on 40. And so you take out the 40 count after not working on it for a couple of months and it, your eyes just go, yeah, I, I'm going to have to you give me a minute. Um, I, I'm going to. I went through my fabric looking for something to do one of my projects on, and I saw the 40 cone in the bag, and I just kind of started to sweat. It, I, I can't. And then I think, well, maybe I should try it again. But I'm like, I don't know if I want to put that kind of stress on myself personally or my eyes now that I'm a little wonky well, with my eyes. So I don't know. You, you all have to tell me what you think. So I, a while ago, bought Teresa Kovett's Let Love Rain. It's huge. Okay. She is a monster. Mm -hmm. um, who was I watching on Floss Tube? Tara Sullivan. Go watch her latest episode. She shows her finished of Let Love Rain. It's monstrous. And I know that Christy from Floss Boss and Cousins is also working on it. And I think she has an eight-foot scroll frame. That hers is on. I mean, it's really a big piece. She doing it on 10 count? <laughs> no, probably 32 or 36. Oh, I mean, it's okay. really big. So I was watching Tara Sullivan, and I thought it really is a beautiful piece, and it's got blues, and I have, and I really, I would like to start it sometime this year. It's probably a two-year, three-year project easily. Oh. Um, And I decided, because of Tara, that I would like to do it on Thornfield, by needle and flax. So what do I do under the influence of another floss? I went to the needle and flax Thorn. website. Oh, it's Thornfield Thorn is the Field color. Is the color. Needle and flax is the dyer. Um, I ordered a half yard 
a f f 40 count. Jane. And that's what I'm going to do Let Love Rain on. You know, I don't feel feverish, but I might have been at the time. Oh, can I, you I can't, imagine? No, no, I can't. I can't. So I ordered I the fabric, can't. and it'll probably be here in a few weeks because they dye it to order. And then once the fabric gets here, I'll order. It's all DMC. Oh, beautiful, okay. beautiful color palette. And um, I might start it sometime this summer. And just have it one of, um, have it be one of those things where I use a small hoop yeah. on like a bed sheet size piece of fabric. <laughs> and you just focus on one small piece at a time until there are, are no more small pieces. And yeah. then you just pray that the border meets. There's a story coming in a way about yeah, that. A story. So that's it for um, my stitching. How about you? Well, <clears throat> I did a lot of stitching. I did probably more finishing than stitching. But I have, um... Do you have a... I do have a... Oh, that hurt. Don't do that. I have, um, part of my, uh, 12 and 12, which I told Jane now I'm going to call the Delightful Dozen. I like it. <laughs> I do, too. Um, it is... Look how fancy you are. It is, um, first off, it was in a bag, which is kind of cool. Then I have, um, it's the one that threw me. It's Plum Street Samplers Float. Yeah, I really do like that. Right, that's strange. Well, I'm normally not a butterfly person, but I really do either. like it. So this is how I've gotten so far on the float. You're right, it is just like we're all thumbs today. Here's the float. Am I in? You are in. Oh, it's beautiful. I did quite a bit of work. Do you remember what you're doing it on? I am doing it on um, 36 count country vintage mocha, and I'm using, um, that would be one strand of thread. Yeah, one strand, because two wouldn't have worked. So the um, modeling on that piece is beautiful. Yeah, it is. It almost in a way looks like wood grain. And then you know what I did that I thought was kind of clever? I don't know if you do. I'll see if how close I can get it. Because it's like, but see the bodies of the butterfly and the bird, how they look really, really strong. Yeah. I outlined them. Oh, and you so backstitched? If you oh, were, what a great idea. If you were here, you'd see that they're, I backstitched which then made the insides almost look like lace because you can oh. it's dark so that's what I did can you see that oh that's a great idea and I and on the dots on their wings I like to do where I do a cross stitch with a plus sign over it okay and then I outline that too so they're really bold they're, it just I don't know I don't know what I probably had Oh, that looks or great. chocolate covered almonds or something under the influence oh, of that. I don't mean to get you all excited, but yeah. the um the pull out basket next to your chair in the stitchers yes. lounge. Yes. There's a fresh delivery of jewel and loose chocolate in there. Oh, get out. Including almond trails. Get out. Oh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm doing now by Heartstring Samplery. That was the big brouhaha six weeks ago. Is that they aren't both in this? They aren't both in here. Even though you say float like a butterfly, and then we all say in our head sting like a bee. That's a whole different pattern by a different designer. And I did. I'm this far. Oh, it looks great. Here, I'll hold it closer. Once again, that modeling on that fabric is beautiful. Yeah. Oh, so I now I was going to do front and back. So when I have it out, I can go by and go, oh, float like a butterfly, flip it over, sting like a bee. Oh, it'd be like you a know? mood ring. Yeah, something like that until I saw this fabric. <sighs> I was at, at the store. Okay. I know. Come on. I know. You got to wait and then you got to get. This, I mean, seriously. I mean, seriously. 
But I'm going to tea dye it. I know, but these are like the same flower shapes and the color. And I'm going to get tea, out. I'm going to tea dye the fabric so it looks... Um, Wintagey? Yeah, grungy. Or at least the cream color will be... Uh, the white background will be dark enough. Like, I don't know. Yeah. But I saw that I'm like, all right. So now I have to make two pillows, and you know how much I don't like to do pillows. Yeah. One, let alone two. Um, but the other night I, mean, I almost bought a sewing machine. <laughs> well, I'd like to, you know, I know. I'd you like and to be Catherine. able. I'd like to be able to finish some pillows, some small pillows. Well, or some ornaments. Catherine, um, I kind of got my bags doubled up here. Catherine called me yesterday and said, I hemmed my curtain or hemmed my curtains that she has over a doorway. So she's been in her dabbling with her sewing machine, which was my sewing machine from 40 years ago, but it still sews. So yeah, I ended up not ordering it because I fell back asleep and had a dream that I ran over my <laughs> finger with the needle. That'll do it. And um, I thought, oh, maybe you're not ready. Okay, so these are all wrinkly, but that's okay. Then, <clears throat> excuse me. My other whip is part of my um, Delightful Dozen. And that is um, the You and I and Friends Ancient, Ancient, Ancient from 1999. Very misleading because, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, that's right. Yeah, this is, I'm doing it on 32 count over two with two strands because if I did it any smaller, it wouldn't be here. It's really narrow. Okay, so what my issue is, is the color is raspberry parfait. So this is the raspberry parfait I had. Clearly was not going to be enough. Mm -hmm. So I said, I will order two more things of Raspberry Parfait. And Didn't Prince have a song? Raspberry Parfait. <laughs> I believe he did. Words might have been... <laughs> I might be taking some yeah. artistic yeah. license. With yes, it. that's what all the words I have. After the doctor say. says, whatever you do, don't sing. <laughs> okay, so this is how the new colors came. <laughs> like, that's not going to do me any good. Hmm. So I can't use the dark because I know I don't have enough. And even the lights aren't even the same. No. So I decided to, I chose one of the lights. And... Because I'm not sure how much you get out of each skein. I tried to look up the numbers, and it was a whole math thing. That's a lot of math. Okay, now, um, a lot of detail that you probably don't need to know. They said they used a 522 green, and you know that's not a very impressive green. No. So I thought, well, I will use um, baby spinach, right? Yeah, great color green. So that clearly isn't enough to do. So I ordered another baby spinach. Wah, wah. <laughs> I'm like, well, now I'm not sure if even one five-yard skein is going to be enough because that's yeah. a big wreath. Yeah. So what do I do? So I went and mm. uh, tweeted it. For those of you who aren't as old as we are, I took one strand of the light baby spinach oh. Baby, um, I was like, why are you on Twitter? No, I'm tweeting. Like, what's that? What good is that going to do? <laughs> well, it's X. I tweeted it. <laughs> and I'm using one of the lighter and one of the darker of baby spinach. And it's giving it a little bit of variegation. I think it looks beautiful. But as I'm stitching it, I'm like, this isn't turning out the way I want it. I don't want something pink. And I'm sorry, that's rather pink. Where's our board here? That is rather pink. And that's not my jam. But I've wanted to stitch this since 1999. It's time. It's just, I'm going to do it. And I and I know I'll be um, happy that it's done. <laughs> and I know I will frame it and put it up. 
but it's, you know, you kind of think in your head, oh, this is going to be so picturesque, and it's not. Mm -hmm. But I'm too far into it, and I just don't walk away from things. So now it's become my mission to finish, even though none of the threads are anything like, and nothing looks like the picture does. I wish you guys no. were all here because the picture is showing a total, two different tones on the wreath. And it's not, and it's not charted that way. And what they tell you to do, those coils, remember I told you? Oh, God, They yeah, have those the surface coils. Oh, well, then the surface coils aren't even there. So, yeah. I'm, I, it's a good fill-in piece for in the evening when you um, don't want to eat and you don't want to sleep. You know, you got to stay awake. So, I've been doing it. So, it, I have enjoyed it despite all the complaining I just did. But it's frustrating when the fibers come so different when you're working off of old fibers you've had for 30 years. Excuse me. So then I decided to start something totally different. I All the switching colors on the float like a bee, mm -hmm. uh, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, and all the finishes that I'll show in a minute were all so many color changes. And I'm my harding or tone on tone, yeah, Mono I was going crazy with yeah. that. So when I was at... Um, keepsakes in Ohio last summer there was a model that I just oh I thought I gotta have that well it was a free handout so it was like this because I'm not going to show well, but it's it by, was really like this oh was it oh I did it sideways but what it is it's by like Fleur de Lou de we la French it's by somebody I, I don't even know Mm -hmm. So it was a free handout, and I'm doing it on um, 36 count natural because I'm working on everyday stuff, oh, and it's going to be a beautiful heart, um, real fleur de lis. That and the red is and the beautiful. red is 103 silks, and I'm enjoying every tiny stinking stitch man is that small for me oh, but yeah beautiful. i the pattern you'll see it develop because i can't show you there was no picture because it was a free and you like the, the 103 yes I do. okay i do because i just ordered sarah milthrop from hands across the street c i've admired it for a long time and it was released this year it was exclusive i think to the attic before Oh, that's the name of the pattern? Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, you can do it in DMC. There's a, a color conversion for 103s and for Soie d'Alger silks. So it's got multiple colors in the design? Yeah, right? there are probably eight, maybe ten colors in the design. A lot of beautiful reds. Um and so I thought maybe I at, might at some time splurge when I'm ready to start it in the 103s. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm liking it. Um, sure, we can stick it in there. I'm, I'm enjoying doing it. Um, again, kind of county. My, my pattern at home, I actually colored off because I had to keep track of it. But, but I'm playing the role of Brenda <clears throat> today. Your I don't, my, I don't think they watch us. Your, my Brenda and Laura, just in case. You're my Vanna, as yes. I like to call you. No, I'm so, your Jane, as I say. <clears throat> you're my Jane. So now that I only had, I only have three clips that I worked on, but I have, like I said, a lot of. She's got a big pile of I finishes. Do, and I thought I could wean it, I could, you know, disperse it over several episodes, and I thought, no, I'm bringing it home. We've waited long enough. I know. <laughs> so now that we're healthy, we're going to just do a video dump, I guess. That's what this will be, huh? So. <clears throat> and then reset the table. Excuse me. Yes. So now, um, I don't know, maybe I could um, just talk about my class. Yeah. And then um, we can. What, what do I have? I'll hold do up have this that? important information. Okay, <clears throat> I'm teaching a class at Welcome Stitchery in Blue Earth, Minnesota, 
the um, first, the 13th is the beginning Hardinger class. I did not bring the model, but I do have this. It goes in a jewelry box and it's stitched on 25 count country vintage mocha lugana. And I used, um, my choice was the red around it. You have a choice of whatever color you want to put around it. it but it's stitched um, using 738 um, DMC number, uh, Pearl Cot number eight. Mm -hmm. And we learn absolutely everything about Hardinger from the very first stitch to the last. And everybody cuts. Uh, that's the one thing everybody's afraid of. And yeah. so um, we do have a couple of spots left open. So if you're in the Minnesota area, it's really worth the trip down. You get to see the Jolly Green Giant. And they've got a quilt shop and they got little sprout statues all over. It's just mm -hmm. really, it's not yeah. that long of a drive. Um, although we have had um, several students come from out state, which was fun that they they came um, traveled to to take the class. The second class is the vintage sampler. Now, don't be afraid of this. This is um, Justine has mentioned a couple times. It's an an advanced hardinger. Um, I'm gonna disagree. It's a it's a drawn thread. It's a cut work class and it's different than Hardinger. Um, it's got specialty bands, if I can get close, of like um, band stitches, satin stitches, eyelets. You cut maybe six threads and then you pull them and you do all sorts of fun uh, surface laying of threads in between. And the way this class will lay out is I will do um, bring for you your like sample fabric with some areas already stitched. So then that way you're um, not doing a lot of layup work, you know, and I don't mm -hmm. like to send things out because I want to teach some things. Yeah. So it, it's really going to be fun because we're just going to do a little snippet of each thing that we're learning. And then of course, as Jane's thumbing through all of the pages, it's um, extremely yeah. detailed in every stitch. And a lot of the stitches are from a vintage book that I had from um, the Can early 50s. This? Sure, just hold it up to show the detail of the charts. Yeah, so, so that's the kind of detail you get, step yeah. by step. So once we've done our little sample of it, you can go home and you won't have any trouble when you're actually applying to it. The kit comes with the fabric and the sample and the buttons, but Justine will let you pick whatever fiber you want. Maybe you want to do it in a in a blue or you want to do it in a variegate mm -hmm. or you know anything that she's got such beautiful fabrics at her shop. So that's the vintage sampler um, and that's April 27th. So don't think that you need to have harding or knowledge to do this because you don't. If you can, you know, basically um, attempt to thread a needle, it, it's, it's not anything that I think really takes any prerequisite of, of knowing of any knowledge. Yeah, and just, you know, I haven't shared this in a while. I think I shared this back in one of the early floss tube days. It was a game changing tip for me when it comes to needles and threading <laughs> needles. Um, I mean, you you have to know, right? Cause it's your, everybody's needle work is their own. Mm -hmm. But personally, I find it easier to thread the needle if I'm actually trying to pass the thread through the end of the needle that has the eye or the hole in it. Yeah. Again, like you, Whatever makes you happy. You do you. <laughs> you do you. But personally, so if you're struggling with the way you're doing it, you know, maybe it'll, you'll have a thought like, oh, like Jane said something about a hole in an end. It seemed to help for her. And then just see. And just for see kicks and goes. giggles. Turn the just needle. Just for <laughs> grins. Yeah, just for grins. So... If you'd like to join us for those classes, we always have so much fun. She's got a beautiful shop. She now has across the hall the new area that she opened up for stitching. And there's a light lunch served. And um, we just, 
you know, average Joe's is across the street for supper time afterwards. And uh, the farmer's daughter is a little mile out, but that's a wonderful restaurant. It's just a fun place to go. And I'd love to have you um, join us. So there's a couple of spots in each class still open and you can sign up by either calling the shop or you can, um, I'll put it up one more time, call a shop or you can log on and go under classes and you can um, sign up online. And Welcome pay online. to tree.com. Yep. So thanks for my little uh, blurb. So, oh, I'm so excited for those that are taking the class. Yeah. And so Catherine's great. coming down um, oh, with me fun. again. So it's kind of a, we get a girl's uh, mom, daughter. Well, no, we're not mom and daughter. We're Catherine and Julie when we travel. <laughs> and really is Catherine, that. perchance, making a list of things that maybe she might oh. gain as part of stash enhancement? Well, see, Catherine just started. Hi, sweetheart. She just started stitching. Um, it's probably been about six months. Yeah. And she actually designed something for Justine. She did? Yeah, she above oh, Justine's girl. above Justine's door, she's Justine has different um samplers that say welcome because it's welcome snitchery. Yeah. So Catherine did one in Spanish and I'm gonna slaughter it. Buena ben, vidos. No, Ben Ben Dio. Oh, ben yeah. I don't know. I've got the accent so sorry, on the wrong syllable. But um, I will frame that for her. So she designed it and stitched it, and I couldn't be more proud because oh, I never thought wonderful. she'd be a stitcher. So, um, okay. yeah, she's got That's a great. couple of lists of things she wants to get. Yeah. And, um, and of course, uh, just to hang out together. Plus, she gets to drive my car. So she's driving Miss Daisy. So, oh, how fun. Yeah. So that's the class thing. So now... I have another segment I called, <laughs> I told Jane when we were in the green room, I coined another one. I think I'm going to call it Delightfully Done. Because I get my FOs and my FFOs and my UFOs. ABOs and, you know. Oreos. Yeah, I get them all mixed up. So I I have a Delightfully Done. It's something that you've, you're done stitching. It's not finished. You're just done stitching it. Do you have any done stitches? I have two delightfully dones. Would you like to share? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I will. After all that, you're going to hesitate. No, I'm good. <laughs> this is the January wordplay. I'm oh. sorry I didn't grab the pattern, but this is by Brenda Gervais with I Needle and Thread. And this is the January wordplay, oh, and I'm doing this on cute. 36 count uh, country vintage mocha. Using all the called four flosses, using one strand of floss over um, two fabric threads. And here is my really finish. Cute. I didn't press it, y'all. So I am I will say they are cuter stitched than they are on the, and on bigger. the pattern. And, and bigger. And a little bigger than I thought yeah, it was going to be. Because that board is maybe 8 by 10. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, cute. Yeah, he's super cute. I love the variegate in the wagon. Yeah, that and, one's called Pumpkin Spice. Okay. What fibers is that? Uh, I think the majority of them are Gentle Art are sampler they? thread, yeah. Yeah, I didn't know what that would look like because they're very um, brown in tones. Yeah. And I really do like the Vintage Country Mocha. Mm-hmm. Um, and providing you stitch it on the right side. I saw. Because remember, <clears throat> tell, yeah. them, tell them that. So right. the Country Vintage Mocha is actually stamped or painted on mm -hmm. one side or printed on one side. So one side is modeled. Don't judge my back, y'all. Mm. Um, and the other one is plain. Plain. So you always have a choice. Um, but make sure when you want the modeling that you start on the right that side. That is absolutely right. Because that can be a little yep. sketchy. And then... Um, I'm kind of discombobulated, but you all remember the Rosebush Sampler. Oh. Uh, Modern Folk Embroidery, IAB 1817, the Rosebush Sampler, also known as the Saltbox Sampler. <laughs> Hi, Carol. Hi, Carol. Um, and I stitched it on 36 count Tefra from Cedar River Linen and Design, and I used the Thread Pack by Roxy Floss Co. Mm -hmm. um, and you can buy the pattern still and the floss pack on um, evertote.ca. I can link them below. Um, there's a whole story that goes with this. 
and I'm really sorry. I did not press it. I just haven't felt well enough to um Well, even to when she here. feels well, she doesn't like Thanks, to Julie. press. Well, I, I <laughs> you know, you can't. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to get lunch. <laughs> You're going to order without me. Aren't Just you? for that, I'm using the purple side of the clip. Oh, no, if you want to get even, you, I'll let you get even. Okay. All right. I got my comeuppance. <laughs> Here's the finish, y'all. Oh, my God. It's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I'm sure it would be even more gorgeous, even more gorge pressed but it is what it is here i can kind of do a stretch oh jane i'm sorry i'm hogging it but i've only seen little snippets of pictures and i'm like i want to see this in real life yeah um, it was a beautiful stitch i liked stitching every single thing um and there are a few stories along the way so when i started the rows at the top i think mm -hmm. i started five or six stitches to um down too low so I'm getting to the bottom here and um, if you compare it to the picture my IAB 1817 is much closer to the bottom border than um, it is charted so that was one thing that I had to be okay with and then I started filling in the border going from this side over to this side and then some I got kind of a cold sinking feeling in my stomach I got all the way over there and it was off by a single fabric thread. So I um, ended up the last two stitches that I put in the sampler are over three <laughs> dun, instead of dun, over two. Dun. <coughs> First, the minute I came in the house, I noticed it right away. <laughs> exactly. Um, I think if you if I if I don't point it out to where it is, you probably would never see yeah. it. Um, was I disappointed? Yeah, kind of. I mean, it's kind of a like kind of a legacy piece for me. I wanted it to be perfect, but I'm a very flawed human being, so it's uniquely mined and it's flawed like I am. So, um, so yeah, I'm glad she's done. Um, mm -hmm. She will temporarily go in the drawer because I have um, a piano bench still full of things that, that need to be framed. And I want to get those done first and up on the walls or wherever they're, mm -hmm. or to their homes, or, wherever they're going to go. Or I just think. stretched and mounted. I mean. Yeah. And but then, I have the frames. There's yeah. no, re you know, there's yeah. no reason. But some of them may be adopted out. Some might mm -hmm. hang on the wall. I really would like to get those done um, before I invest in more. Because my piano bench only has so much space between the bench and the bottom <laughs> of the piano. And I'm already kind and of. And to say nothing, it's within eye shot too. Which is kind of daunting, haunting. Um, and uh, several kind people who have come to my house have said, um, these have been on your piano bench for a long time. Would you like me to put these in your room? And I'm like, as weird as it sounds, no. No. Because once they're in there, um, I will forget they're there. Because I'm not in this room other than doing the floss tubes. Mm -hmm. So um, out of sight, out of mind. You know what, um, before, well, I can still help, help slash instruct. Catherine wants to learn how to um, stretch mount because she had done, I don't, I can't even remember the months that she did, um, all 12 of them and they had cute little buttons and she did them all. Mm -hmm. They all need to be stretched. Now we're going to finish those on blocks of, on, on a single block of wood that she's going to have do a montage on her wall because framing is so expensive when you're going to display yeah. L12. She desperately wants to learn how to stretch mount because of my hands. She goes, then I can do yours. So maybe we should have a stretch mount day or weekend yeah. where she comes over and I can kind of help like supervise because I don't I shouldn't do and then you could come that. over here early and iron that I, yeah I can, I can do the I can why um, does it have to be ironed well because it lays smoother and it's 
you know, a lot of people. I like the old days better when you just put some quarter inch foam on it. You can't get that foam anymore, though. But the thing is, is a lot of people have said, oh, just throw it in your dryer. Well, her dryer is downstairs and you can't do stairs. So as much as there were so many things. um, All really good suggestions. All good suggestions. So I think we just need to I'll make some chicken salad and I'll make some kind of, oh, maybe I'll do the brownies. And we'll come over and we'll just do... Dang, can yeah. every day be Stretch Mountain? <laughs> stretch Mark Day, but not Stretch Mountain. Oh, by the way... <laughs> so... By the way, I made that um, hash brown taco casserole. Oh, gosh, that's good. It was really good. Yeah. And the next day, we... Um, Heated it up and we scrambled a few eggs and yep. made like a breakfast hash. That looks good too. So not only is your cherry pasta salad and your brownies like kick butt, so is that. Talk well, I'll have to put that casserole. recipe maybe on Instagram Yeah. for those two things. So easy. But, yeah. But um, we'll get together with that because she really wants to do it, but she didn't want to always hound me about it. So we'll get to that, Catherine, because she has some fun pieces to do. Oh, that but sounds really good. But I can really instruct good. and I can iron. I'll do all the ironing. I'll press the pieces. I'll, 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 make, press, I'll, make, I'll yeah. make you a pile. Yeah. So let's do that. All right. Okay. What about your delightful? <laughs> My delightful done. Done. Oh. Of course, done, everything. Done, done. This is what I was telling you about in the green room. I am so desperate to do these tiny towns, and I just think it's just going to be a mental black struggle for me. <laughs> Remember Blooming when I started towns. the um, Valentine. Valentine's one? Yeah. So what Jane did is she was gracious and had me pull out some fabric from her stash. 32 count. It was a color cotton heirloom. Now, they said on the pattern that it called for some kind of, let me get it straight, um, some kind of old stationary linen. Mm -hmm. Now, by the picture, you would think that is just about as basic as you can get. <clears throat> Excuse me, in color, right? So we thought that our selection of the color and cotton um, heirloom would be comparable. So I'm stitching along on this, and, and again, I did order some classic color works that I wanted to do um, for the few houses that would show a variegate, because I um, don't want to get beyond my basic weeks and gentle arts. That's just my uh, line I drew. So this is a small piece. So I'm like, if there's three stitches in a leaf, it's not going to matter if it's a fancy floss or if it's a DMC. But I did choose a few for the variegation. I was telling Jane, I know they enhance photos this way. I know they enhance photos because I do it myself when you do publications. It's terrible to do photos. But I was um, frustrated that... Um, that my white that looked crisp white on the photo was actually a uh, 12 grain classic color works or a DMC of 712, which is an ecru. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I wound out, wound up taking out my clouds and my picket fence and replacing them with 3865 because I didn't want the white. Actually, there's not much difference between DMC white and DMC 3865 either. No. Oh, but I did all the, the stitching. Tiny button. I did all the stitching oh, no. and um and it was fun, but I was frustrated that it wasn't turning out how how it was pictured. Mm -hmm. And I know better yeah. than and that. The buttons over there. You know, just like with your months, it looks so dark and drab but in yeah. real life it was more showy so yeah i did that that oh and then oh, it's gonna it's, go it's on. very cheerful i when i was again when i was in ohio when i was at keepsake this was my um big splurge i bought this um what is it it will it's by pete's beast 
Be, be, be skip. Be, be Pete's B skips. Yeah, say that fast. Mm -hmm. And more. This must be the and more. And and this um, tiny tone stitched on 32 fit around this. So that's what I wanted to do. So I've yet to actually finish it. That's why it's just a delightfully done. Because <laughs> it's not fully finished. When it's so. fully finished, it is it a delightfully done, done, done? <laughs> exactly. It's a double done. Oh. So, yeah, this oh, again. This is so charming. And it really is. But boy, there again. All the color changes, and I'm just so not used to that. So, but I, it, it was fun to do. Listen, if you can live through the red deer sampler. Well, maybe that's why I'm. You can just, live through a tiny town. Maybe that's why I'm a little bit done with the. You have some PTSD switching. from yeah, the think red deer. So. I think so. So now, um, is it still Saturday? It's still Saturday, and we're still talking about delightfully done. Yeah. I. So now we're done with the delightfully done. Do you have any? Um, are we? What is all, What else is in your pile? Well, these are fully finished. These are done to done done duns. Oh. See, that's not. That's still going to make a comeback in another episode when it's on its drum with all of its. All right. Well, then um, let's go to the accessories. Done 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 done. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. This is really... You don't have a hat to hang on This to. is... It's you! We'll see how many subscribers we lose after oh, this episode. no. <laughs> this was so much fun because, um, again, I was, I don't like doing pillows, but I'm getting better at them. Um, That's what you used that oyster mushroom on? Yes. She, um, we were in her drawer, and I said, do you have some, I'm looking for something to go with red, and it's Jane, um, lent me, or gifted me, the Fox and Rabbit Oyster Mushroom oh, to my do goodness. this. And it's stitched using, um, Gentle Art Sampler Threads Claret, it's, 32 count and I did only use one strand because tight. it was really um, tight, tight yeah. and I like the look of it. Okay, so I was at Hobby Lobby. I was at the Hob Lob and look at this fabric, Jane. It, this fabric, I don't know if you can focus in on it, if I can hold it right, is like stonewashed. Yeah. And that made it look that really drew the color, even though it's on the back side. But I thought, oh my gosh, that's the perfect fabric for that. Here, let me see if I can hold it really close. And so what I did, when I went to do the ruching around the edge, the red is a, the red matches the front, but the red really doesn't match the back. You know, because the back looks a little bit um, browner, but I, I think it's okay. And then I added the button on the front because it just was empty. And I oh, thought I needed it. Oh, I was... It is just gorgeous. I was really happy. Oh, my goodness. That was a very happy finish. So, so that's one of my delightfully done dumbbells. It's all wrapped back up. Okay. Then I have... It's kind of like Christmas... This one I don't have the, the pamphlet for. I think it was a heart in hand if I'm visualizing it. Visualizing it. Ye black this crow. is the crow. Oh my gosh. That handle, when I saw that handle, I thought I gotta have that handle. It was a it was a stellar day at the hub. <laughs> so that's the handle. Now usually I flush finish everything. Mm -hmm. This has a teeny tiny little lip. <laughs> was bigger than the piece. I got so excited about the handle. I'm like, oh, that's going to be awesome on that. And then I bring it home and I go, oh, it's way too big. So I just had my wood guy cut a bigger piece. And, and I like that. I, I don't know if you can focus in. There's a nice trim on it. It yeah. just made it look really classy. So. And is that? Really 
really, really cool. Yeah. Tom said it looked like a lunchbox. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> but isn't it cool? It really is cool. I, and I, I love the little um, buttons. Yeah. The little black buttons. So that was really a fun, a really simplistic kind of piece that I yeah. think, if I do say so myself, really turned out classic. So for cool. Downstairs where we have black leather furniture all downstairs. Yeah. That's going to go on my everyday mantle. That's part of my oh. everyday stuff. So And it's heavy. So good. So that could really take somebody out. So that was another one. So mm. that was kind of fun. So having these all finished was like kind of a real achievement to think, oh, I got that not only stitched, but um, done. As so, opposed to putting it in the drawer and all the time. Yeah, I'm kind of... Oh, and then... Um, then this one, <clears throat> oh yeah, now I Stony finished Creek the, this, blessing. and then I got the frame for it. So here's the frame. Oh my. As much as I wanted to go big and gnarly and no, it, Catherine went with this day and it really had to just be in a, I like, the, I like the simplicity yeah. of it. Yeah, and, and for those of you who maybe can or can't focus in on it, it's green. Yeah. It's like an olive green. And it's got that nice texture. Yeah. In some spots it looks nicked, and I was a little upset till I realized that that's just the, it's a frame that was cut against the grain. So, Yeah. Oh, how and I great decided is that? to put the harvest harvest blessing in there. I like it. And all I did, look at the pattern, Jane. All I did was lower that one side of the H. See how they have oh, the H yeah, shorter yeah. on the. I don't know if you can see it. The H is shorter, and I just thought I didn't like the H. So that's what kind of prompted me not to want to put anything. You want in. your. Harvest to be abundant and equal. On all letters. Yeah. So I just lowered the, uh, I just put in two more stitches and 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 found that that made me happy. Yeah, I it's it looks yeah. great. So I can't wait to hang that. So I'll just put that there. <clears throat> then, this is the last one. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look. Look. Well, these are old. Look, the rubber band. The color of the rubber band matches. <clears throat> it's because red are bigger rubber bands. Like, how do the rest of us even have a chance? I mean, this is... <laughs> no. This is ridiculous. The yellow ones are thicker and <clears throat> a little bit shorter, so... It's not color-coordinated. Okay. It's size. Related. Let's go with color-coordinated. That's okay. the story I'm going to tell. Okay. So now, I didn't bring the pattern, but this is by... Um, JBW Designs, Judy Whitman, did the Eliza Birds. And it is on, I can't believe I forgot all this. It's 36 on 36 count something. Count, um, something. Antique white, maybe? No, it's blue. It's got a blue tinge to it. So I'll have to, okay. Look at that. So this is what I did. I've I'm seen them stitch so many different, finish so many different ways. So I had an oval mirror that I picked up at Hobby Lobby thinking, oh, this will be great for finishing because a lot of people use um, items from there for finishing. Yeah. But that was oval and this is very boxy. Yeah, it's very rectangular. So, <laughs> so I thought, okay, I did a little measurement and... Um, I got a five by seven frame off Amazon. Um, and then I said, I'm going to hold off. Well, first, I didn't want to put the Eliza, what is the date, 1849 on at all, because I don't like to do those things personally, because I have kind of this little anxiety that when I'm gone and I've left this earth, Bella's going to think like that was my aunt that was <laughs> born in 18. No, it's no relation. So I don't like to put a lot of dates oh on gosh. like that. But um, so I held off putting it on because I knew that the frame would be 
taller than I needed. So when the frame came, I was so excited, you know, next day. No, I had to wait two days for it to come. Oh, my. So I opened it up out of the box, out of the styrofoam, very packaged very well. And I'm like, are you flipping kidding me? There was glass in it. Okay, I'll take the glass. No, glass was glued into it. I, I've got a lot of frames and a lot of pictures of family at home. And I don't think with one exception of a ceramic frame was the glass glued in. So I'm like, now what do I do? And um, I could have tried to, Tom said, well, we could break it out. But this is a, a what do they call it? Composite. A composite frame. And I thought, I'm not risking breaking the frame. Oh, it's got an easel on the back. It's so so I'm like, I consulted <laughs> my adhesive guy I told Jane which I is several <laughs> ranks above a glue guy a glue guy adhesive guy yeah. I don't know if it's by cuteness or if it's by expertise yeah, but he's my your adhesive, adhesive guy he is kind of cute he's a looker okay yeah. so I um consulted with him and he said why don't you try your hair dryer just hair dry it and I'm like oh man seriously so I'm downstairs plugged it in and I'm applying, I put the hairdryer right on the corner of the glass. And I took a long needle and I'm like, oh, it's kind of gooey. I'm going to pick it out. Mm -hmm. Well, it wasn't picking. So I took what little pressure I have in these poor thumbs and I pushed on the, this, pushed on the glass and it let loose. So I heated all four corners, and with my thumbs, I was able to push from the front to pop the glass out. I was so happy, because I don't like to be sad. No, I don't like it when Julie's sad either. So I got the glue out, got the glass out. Then I heated the corners again, and with the tweezers, I was able to just pluck out that oh glue God. pooty. You know, and I plucked them all out. And then I could, the cut, <laughs> I could cut the 5 by 7 and then I, I kind of judged with counting pins where, how far I could kind of go to put that mm. Eliza 1849 in. Oh, and I stitched beautiful. it. And, and then the back just has those little wing nut oh. things. So excited. So, so excited with this finish. So, yeah. It really Maybe is we could put the link on Amazon for this frame. Or you sure, could if you just, send it to me. Yeah, because um, it came in different tones, like a, a green or, I mean, in a blue. But I oh, chose. Because I'm going to do those in blue, so maybe. The blue one would be very pretty. But I this is going in um, my Bella's guest room, and that's white. So I was really excited about that. So that's it for my fully finished, or no, our delightful dun 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 dun, dun, dun. Yeah. getting into our law and order growth okay then yeah, i I'm guess a recovering law and order junkie yeah i know i know the That's... original and criminal original criminal intent in that order svu for some reason those stories linger with me mm. i can't as good as it is i can't yeah and then organized crime. I mean, it was one I've watched hundreds of them with Christopher you. Maloney. Yeah. Ain't no fool. Yeah, but I think I just didn't get into it. So maybe I have to um, log into Peacock and start from see season it, one and just see what it's give all it about. Give it a go? Yeah. That, I, never I am kind of getting sick of Iron Chef Japan. Every night before I go to bed, I eat something I else. I can't. I would have heartburn every night if I watched that. Oh, last um, night it was a stingray battle. It was hysterical. You know, the chairman does its thing. Oh, look, cuisine. You know, like whatever. And reveals the secret ingredient. Here was it a stingray? Yeah, there was a like a big aquarium full of stingrays. And I thought, oh I thought, my no. gosh, no. The Iron Chef that was chosen for battle. And then the Challenger. Completely unfazed. Really? Yeah. Just went up there with gloves and plucked them out. And oh my gosh. Murdered them. Right I there. thought I, I would find and, it be hard if they had like honey and tarragon. I wouldn't even know what to do. My favorite had. is when they do the eels. Ew. Like the eel pike or the giant eels or whatever. 
Oh. Well, no I wonder will... you don't sleep. <coughs> no wonder. Excuse me. So, can I show this and then, or did you You can you show have, as many as you want. Did you have finally finished the lately done, done, duns? No, 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 no. <laughs> I asked Jane if I could bring this They're one. They're on the piano bench. <laughs> I asked Jane if I could bring this one, which we kind of started a little segment a couple episodes ago of delightful do agains for those of you who haven't watched the previous episodes might not know but this was so darn cute and we have had a winter where it was the day after valentine's day we got our first snowfall seven inches yeah otherwise <coughs> it's all gone yeah well now it's gone but i yeah. mean all of um well when do we usually get snow september october november december january we only had like two inches. Yeah. So Tom thought it was great because he didn't have to snow blow. But this is a guy that I put out. I love him. And I put him out after Christmas for Valentine's Day. And I thought I wasn't going to put him out. And I thought, no, it's the only darn snow we've had is in my snowman here. But isn't he cute? Yeah. It's Brenda Gervais um, Peppermint Pal. And it's stitched on blue fabric 20 22 count or 32 count and i use two strands but his pants are so cute and, he is adorable. and then the reason why the holes are in the top is because i bought this for the chris santa one and i put this it's a key thing and these go inside that's how Here, yeah, let me I, let my, me demonstrate yeah that with my shaky hand so that hangs on my knob, on my red trunk, on my How red great dresser. Is that? What a great idea! Yeah, and he makes me smile every time I every time I walk through that room. Did your like, drill press guy? Yeah, my wood guy and my drill press guy. They work nice. together well. Yeah, that's some union they got going. There. I know. Oh, great how pension. <laughs> yeah, we're retiring off of my um off my uh glue my adhesive guy my wood guy my drill guy. My screw guy and my bolt guy. And yeah. So there. Okay, now I'm done. Good Lord, Julie's finally done. Oh, that's done. awesome. It was fun. Because I'll be packing this this fellow away for Aww. Easter. Because we'll be bringing um, Peter and Peep out. Yeah, i got to have some bunnies. Got to get the bunny stuff out. If you so. could see this room. So last spring, Julie and I went through my bins of no return for mm -hmm. things that actually are fully finished. And we took out spring things. So there's spring, three spring, pieces spring, that have spring. rabbits and another shepherd's bush that says feed the birds. They're still up from last year. But when he didn't get a whole bunch of snow, that's I know. Okay. Every time I thought about like, you know, I have some nice fall and winter pieces. I should really, you know, they're in a band. I can't get to it. Well, see, I did How lazy well, can a person be? This isn't a room that you walk through. See, I decorate my living room that we sit in at Christmas because we're in our TV room. But we walk through, and, and yeah. I, I like to have that. But now I think everything I told Jane earlier, I think I I want to just skip over um, Easter, which I shouldn't, decorating-wise, and just go right into um, patriotic. patriotic because we're hosting um, Bella's graduation party at our house, Catherine is going to do all the work, but we'll have it at our house. And I want to have that decorating done, and I don't want to be rushed with that. I kind of want right. to get it done and have it done. So, I don't know. Easter decorations are still up for grabs. I'll put a bunny do. on the table. Yeah. Next to the ham. Call it a day. <laughs> so, now what do we have? Um, Delightful deliveries. Yes. I do have a... I, have a I do have a few. Okay. Share your delightful okay. deliveries just so Mine I are all fabric. Shocker, everybody. Oh, I can't wait to see. So um, the February fabric from Color and Cotton came. This is 36 count hay bale medium. And it's a beautiful it looks, color. It looks similar in color country vintage mocha. to country vintage yep. mocha, but the, it's dyed through and through. Yep, it's on both sides. Isn't that beautiful? And the modeling is much more subtle. Um, subtle. Yeah. Very pretty. Yeah. Let me feel it. May I? Yeah, it feels great. And then um, the February Thread Club 
color scheme. 36. And here are the thread colors. And they're beautiful. Oh. Yeah. And then I had kind of forgotten that I um, signed up for the Fox and Rabbit. I think it's quarterly fabric club. And I had kind of forgotten about it. You know, last fall was a blur. And then a package came in. My husband's like, you got something all the way from Australia. And I'm like, a boomerang? Like, look Dang, at it. mate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and it is four beautiful pieces <gasps> of fox and rabbit. Forty count linen. Forty. So this is You're forty. Killing me. This is forty count flannel flower. Okay. And mm, I it like is, the. Um, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Yes. Yeah. And that's gray for those of you playing the home game. Yeah. yeah. It's got a slight, slightest tinge of purple. Yeah, kind gray. of a pewter gray. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's 40 count flannel flower. And then um, this is 40 count Eureka. So you can see the label. Now um, that doesn't have much for variegation. So subtle. Just like... Um, so incredibly subtle, but you can yeah. see it. Oh, that is yeah, beautiful. It's beautiful. Just too bad it's 40. <laughs> and this is 40 count mm. paper bark. How would you describe that? At first glance, it looked like it had a green tint. It's a to little, it. um, I think it's got a little taupe in it, I think. A taupe? A taupe. Beautiful. A little bit of modeling, not very not, contrasty. Not real um, yeah. distinct, but um, beautiful. They would be perfect for samplers. Yes. Really perfect for samplers. And then this is 40 Pop Ocean Air. Oh, I know why you placed that order. It's beautiful. No, really. I didn't order it. They just Oh, came. they sent them to They come every quarter. Oh, they you choose can't and they pick come. And choose. Nope. You pick your count. Oh. Um, and this is um, more of a C. <clears throat> like a sea green. It's showing up as a, like a brighter blue on camera. Yeah, but. it's brighter blue on camera. It almost yeah. looks like a, a soft robin egg. Yeah, blue. yep, that would be a good way yeah. to describe it. But it is showing up really bright. So yeah, so that was a wonderful, oh, that was a wonderful wow. surprise. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So they'll go in the fabric drawer now I can. <laughs> you are terrible. Some friends are coming to visit this summer in, um, in August, and um, I've not met them in person before. So I'm very excited, and I'm like, well, what do you want? I'm like, I'm, a very, I'm not that excited. Oh, we're going to go through the drawer of no return. <laughs> I want to see what's in there. So we'll go through the drawer of no return, then we'll, um, we'll go through my fabric store, and we'll see if um, we can find homes for some of the fabric yeah. that catches their eye so that um, it goes to a good home. So yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Can we reorganize? Do we get to reorg? Because we kind of missed and mixed and matched some of the fabrics, didn't we? Yeah, you know what I think I want to do? And we can talk about this over lunch. Is you know the last two drawers of that fabric mm -hmm. thing is all Hardinger with mm -hmm. um, the boxes of pearl, pearl cotton. Pearl cotton. I still I think that should go back into that smaller bin that the scroll rods mm -hmm. and the Q snaps are in, um, because that always being on top, it would be easily accessible. Yeah. And I'm not gonna I'm probably gonna access the Hardinger fabric a couple of times a year. Yeah. Whereas at least once a month, I've got to access those right. drawers. So Just yeah, maybe. Just kind of make them a little bit more user friendly. Yeah, and maybe label them. Oh, we don't want to. <laughs> what's What's with you? I know. Maybe put a sticky note on it or something. Yeah. So that if my sister or Mick are helping, you know, put away piles after floss tube, where does that go? See the drawer that says 36? Put it in there. Yeah. I know. That's, I've been reorganizing after Christmas. Um, I went right into 
if I'm going to put the Christmas stuff away, I'm going to organize everything. I'm only going to put back what I used. I'm going to put it in a, in a mm -hmm. real convenient place. The upstairs stuff, ironically, may be upstairs, you know. And so I've been going through all my drawers. And along the way, I've been, if I find a duplicate or something, I've been setting it aside mm -hmm. because we had talked about doing something yeah. for this um, 7K, like a giveaway or something. But yeah. so I've been, we've been going through, I've been going through all my things. So I think that would be a great opportunity if we Absolutely. just had time to do that yep. um, after yep. the party, graduation party. And then I really with. want to get a file cabinet and get all of those charts into hanging Oh, files. yes, yes. Um, I've, and I've repurpose got, that plastic bin for something else. I've got a... Have I got a deal for you? Oh, good. Something else to talk about over yep, lunch. Yep, over lunch. So, Do you have any delightful deliveries? Oh, gosh, I forgot. I thought we were done. Delightful downloads. Um, Remember I started the Mug of the Month Club? So that was the first download. Then the second download was this one. Oh, how cute. I can't stand it. Oh, he's cute. And the third one. Get out. I can't. Okay, so now you know what my hesitation is. Mm -hmm. I've got it on a big, huge three-foot scroll rod, you know. Yeah. I can't do that with my hands. I'm having my hand, my left hand done. I made the surgery date for August. So um, I want to stitch on that, but it's just so overwhelming for me. Mm -hmm. So another one of my delightful deliveries was I got these. Oh, I love those. I know. Um, get it silicone. Um, silicone ties. Ties. Like for cords that was, your, was the original use. I know. Yep. So these are the long ones. So what I'm hoping is I'm going to take my mug fabric off of the scroll rods, I'm going to work on a small, I don't know if I can hold a cue snap or what, but I have to have it up close. Uh -huh. Between my eye and my shaky mm -hmm. hand, I have to, I'm not working on it because it's on such a big piece and yeah. I need something. But these will be to corral when I roll up the fabric, I can do that. So I that's, use them like that all the time. Yeah, it's great. I've seen that you've done it. So this is just the pack that I got on Amazon. Yeah, I'll put the those. link below. Because they're the longer ones, not yep. the shorter ones. And there are some fancy ones that instead of the circle on the end have a star or, you know, yeah. some other things. If you... So I got those as, but that's my delightful download. This was my delightful delivery. Um, so I'm anxious because I really want, they're so cute. I can't stand it. And I'm they're doing really it nice. on a 36 count that I was gifted from you. Um, mm -hmm. Does it say on there, on one of them? Uh, I think it was, um, uh, I don't know. It's a secret. <laughs> I think it was a, it Foxy, was a rock, Foxy. it was Roxy. I thought. Roxy Linen. See, yeah, because I 36 count. Leo and Roxy. See, I think of yep. Foxy Roxy, and that's mixing my my breeds or whatever there so so yeah i i need to get that in hand yeah so that's my my hope and then um when i was down at justine's all the gals had these stands oops oh, wait this has to go forward ouch this like this so you can adjust it by here like that and then it's got this to hold your chart i don't know where your chart's going like in a windy day or something i don't know but it's got i don't know this mine's there. always on the floor these days yeah, i don't like understand that. How oh maybe there. i'll do it on camera gosh like that and then what i like about it is um it folds flat and i like the size like i have a big yellow one yep that's really substantial it's great it's but too um, big because i too big for same. travel yeah so this is um in chart perspective you know it's just perfect now while we were at that stitch <laughs> we're seeing all of them and we're like where'd you get that where'd you get that of course they got it on amazon and Catherine and i had ours ordered before lunch <laughs> so when we got home yeah. they came to my house and i put one of course the red one for me and i think she got a 
blue or a pink one. I can't remember. I, I gave that to her for Christmas. But yeah, very inexpensive, yeah. but so way cool. So I got that. If I can find the link, I'll put that below yeah. too. Otherwise I can. I'm see. making a lot of promises. I might not be able to keep y'all. I don't know. But we sure had fun. Didn't we? Yeah. I'm kind of numb right now. I've waited so Oh, look, and it's still recording. Oh, thank I God. It... <laughs> I'm so glad because um, I didn't, I just was waiting and waiting and waiting for you to get better. I to mean, to actually have a speaking voice. Well, just to get better. I mean, the fall started out with me having COVID. Yeah. And, and then, and me with the sepsis. Yeah. And then I just got over mine, and then you got yours. And I, we did one video in between, and then you got yours. And I'm like, seriously? Yeah. We, um, we did the our MLK episode on Monday and the following Tuesday. Yep. I tested positive. Yep. So enough is enough. I'm getting my booster this week because they say you have to wait three months after you've had it before you get your booster because I don't want to get it again. Oh, well. Anyways, I'm glad you're better. Thank you. Me too. Oh, gosh. It's been way Hopefully too long. Hopefully this wasn't a too much of a shock for everybody. No, I walked in and I'm like, hey, cool. I like that. Are you going to go with that on the video? And she goes, I don't think so. I don't know if I have enough for uh, I said, I, I granted her a whole bunch of fairy courage. And I said, I might need, I might have needed liquid courage if it had been handy. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm just glad that you're healthy. Thank so, you. Cool, cool. Now let's let's hope that the even year and the wonderfulness that's supposed to come with an even year actually starts to kick in. Yeah, because so far, not so good. Yeah, no, not so, so much. So when we when will we be back? We we'd like to see get back on our two week schedule. Yeah, two or three for yeah. sure. Yeah, let's not go longer. Than and that. if knock anything, on wood. if anything ever does delay, I don't know if you're familiar with this, but there's a section um, on our floss tube where you on go YouTube. to community, mm -hmm. and that's where she posted all my tales of woe. Yeah, go if on there's a anything, post. yeah. It, if you're a subscriber, you'll get that as yeah. a notification. But if you're not yeah. a subscriber, you can check under the community tab and there'll yeah. be a message there um, if uh, Jane or I post anything. So for those of you who may not have known that, but thank you for all your concern and your yeah, well wishes. Your well wishes. Mm -hmm. Yep, I, And all your prayers. I could definitely yep. feel them. Yep. Yeah. Very much so. Well... Okay. Thanks for hanging in there with us today. <laughs> kind of did feel like the first time. Yeah. After being away for so long. Um, I will share with you that the last three months have been very difficult since coming home from the hospital. Um, my brain has told me lies and taken me to extremely dark places. Um, trying to adjust to a new normal and not and having your new normal be that you can't do simple things that were very easy for you to do maybe six months ago. It's been really hard. Mm -hmm. um, and the way to get through it, the way I've gotten through it, is to try to be kind to myself and to give myself one more day. So if the, there's a day where I feel like giving up um, and just saying I don't want to do this anymore, whatever that means, um, I'm like, I can make it through another day and then another day after that. And then another day after that. Um, your bad days and your one day at a time um, are someday going to be a survivor story that inspires other people to do the same thing. So give yourself one more day and another day after that. And let's string all of those together until we meet back here mm -hmm. and we have another great adventure together. Absolutely. So until next time, Julie and I wish you nothing but the best. Health and happiness in the abundance of all of the things that make you happy and healthy. So until next time, happy, happy stitching, stitching, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Yep. Bye. Yeah, bye. No singing today. I no, can't do it. But bye. It's saying something up there like. I hope it's not anything bad. No. So I'm clicking it and it sent us a message. Oh, no. Wait. Okay. Bye.